The story of the Magyars, known today as the Hungarians, began around 800 BC with the separation of their language from other Finno-Ugric tongues. This tale, woven with myths, migrations, and battles, stretches across a millennium, culminating in the conquest of the Carpathian Basin around 895 AD. The Magyars were long believed to be connected to the ancient Scythians and Huns, as recorded by Byzantine, Western European, and Hungarian chronicles. This belief persisted until the late 18th century, when the linguistic similarities between Hungarian and Uralic languages came to light, shifting the focus of their origin study to the realm of linguistics. The first historically certain mention of the Magyars dates back to the late 830s when they allied with the Bulgarians. Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII, Porfiro Genetis, recorded that the Magyars lived in Lavidia near the Khazar Khaganate in the early 9th century, aiding the Khazars in their wars for three years. During this period, the Magyars were organized into tribes, each led by a Vojvode, a military leader. However, the tranquility of Lavadia was shattered by a Pecheneg invasion, prompting a segment of the Magyars to cross the Caucasus Mountains and settle to the south, while the majority fled to the steppes north of the Black Sea. In their new homeland, Edelkaz, they dominated the lands between the Lower Danube and the Don River by the 870s. Their confederation of seven tribes was led by two supreme chiefs, the Kende and the Gyula. The Kabars, rebellious subjects of the Khazar Turks, joined them, bolstering their strength. The Magyars, fierce and resourceful, regularly raided neighboring Slavic tribes, extracting tributes and capturing prisoners to sell to the Byzantines. Exploiting the conflicts between Bulgaria, East Francia, and Moravia, they invaded Central Europe at least four times between 861 and 894. Yet another Pecheneg invasion forced the Magyars to leave Etelkaz. They crossed the Carpathian Mountains and settled in the Carpathian Basin around 895. Their art from this period, rich with motifs of stags and eagles, echoed the Scythian influence, symbolizing their deep connection to the Eurasian steppe's ancient cultures. The legend recorded by 13th century chronicler Simon of Kiza tells of the brothers Hunor and Magor, forefathers of the Huns and Hungarians. Sons of Menrat and Enith, they chased a hind to the Sea of Azov, where they abducted the wives of Belar's sons and daughters of Dula, the Alan Prince. This myth, rich in symbolic meaning, reveals the Magyar's totemistic reverence for the hind, and hints at a broader cultural narrative shared with other steppe peoples like the Huns and Mansi. Recent genetic research reveals the Magyar's origins in Central Asia and South Siberia, showing their genetic ties to Turkic peoples, modern South Caucasian peoples, and to a lesser extent modern Western Europeans. While some Uralic markers were found in 10th century Magyar skeletons, their genetic mosaic reflects a history of migrations and integrations with various peoples along their westward journey. Thus, the story of the Magyars is not just a tale of migrations and conquests, but also of cultural synthesis and adaptation. From the steppes of Asia to the heart of Europe, their journey is a testament to the resilience and enduring spirit of a people who carved out a homeland amidst the tumultuous currents of history.